Hey, psst, do you use water to clean your booty after going to the bathroom? Check out this handheld bidet today on Toilet Talk. Hello, dear friend. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I am an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes in their homes to live there for a lifetime. And today is no different. I am gonna show you a handheld bidet by Brondell. Not only am I going to show it to you, but I'm also going to give my personal review on it. So without further ado, I'm gonna have you take it away, Maria. You go, girl. <laughs> for sending everybody over. Welcome to my bathroom. We are here, I am on my toilet. This is an actual functioning toilet. And I'm gonna show you this handheld bidet by Brondell. But first things first, I need to attach it. So let's get started on that. Okay, it's on, but oh my God, did I ride the struggle bus with this one. So let me talk about it first. One thing I wanna point out is, uh, this, the height of my toilet. So my toilet height is standard, 15 inches tall from the seat to the flow. With my toilet being this tall, if you take a look at the sprayer, um, you will notice that this is hanging on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and also that I have the toilet mount on here, but as you can see, the toilet mount doesn't hold in the sprayer very well. It falls out very easily um, if I so much as jiggle this a little too vigorously. So this is hanging on the floor. Now I will tell you that the toilet mount, this can also go on the wall. And so I'm using the toilet mount right now because I am just testing this out. I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep this in the bathroom forever. So that is why I'm using the toilet mount right here. It goes just here, which is very convenient. It's out of the way. Um, it's easy to clean. It goes inside of the toilet tank. If you wanted to mount it on the wall, which is actually what I recommend for everybody because it's easier to reach. Um, if you wanted to mount it on the wall, what you do is you sit on your toilet like how I am, bend your elbow at your side, like at a 90 degree angle. And then on the wall, you're going to put it so that it's, it, um, lines up where your forearm, the top of your forearm would be with your arm bending at your side. So it, that would make it very easy to reach for you on the wall right next to the toilet, as opposed to turning and twisting your back after sitting on the toilet or standing up and reaching over to grab it before you sit down on the toilet. This isn't the greatest thing so far, <laughs> the greatest thing best in the world, but we shall see. We still haven't used it to clean ourselves. Oh, another installation tip. Make sure that your bidet is completely off before you turn on the water valve, because this is what I did. This is the handle. So when it's completely down like this, it's in the off position. And when it's up, it's in the on position. So that's important because I turned on the water supply to the toilet and it sprayed all over the wall. <laughs> so if you wanna avoid cleaning up a mess, make sure that it's all the way down in the off position. That will save you. Getting up close, I also wanna say, so here's the water supply. It's turned on right now. Here is the new T-valve that came with this Brondell. Um, if you are not using it, Brondell recommends you turn the water supply off. So now it's in the off position. That way, when you're not using it, there's no way it'll leak anywhere. So, so far it's been over five minutes. I haven't seen any leaks. So hopefully that'll be good to go there. So here's the handle for it. Now it's off. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so we see the handle is still pretty down. 
for it to go all the way up high. Woo! There we go. It has some pretty impressive power on it. What do you think? Well, I'm gonna test this thing out for a couple of days and I will get back with you and let you know what I think about it because so far, so good. I'm actually really impressed with the uh, intensity. Um, also, before you do use this, you wanna test out the water uh, pressure on the palm of your hand before you actually put it on your private parts. I'm back. It's been several days of me checking out the Brondell handheld bidet. Um, so I'm going to tell you some of my thoughts about it. So first of all, I really do like this. I think this is something that I would definitely keep in my bathroom next to the toilet. I really love the different intensities. It can have really low, super low intensity, and then you can turn it up, like you saw in the last video, super high, like, oh my gosh, um, huge, powerful jet stream of water at your cooch or in your butt. <laughs> this thing can pack a punch with its jet stream. It's little, but dang, I mean, the water can just shoot out of that, like, nobody's business. So if you're somebody, if you're like, oh, I want a really light pressure uh, stream of water, or if you want a really uh, high intensity stream of water, you can have it. One of the downfalls with this is that you can't adjust the water temperature. So if you're somebody who is not super fond of cold water, then this may not be the option for you. Um, I, since I have been using bidet seats for a while that, that don't have um, water temperature options, um, I'm so used to it, it's totally fine. I, you know, the cold is fine, especially it's warming up here in uh, Kansas City, so I really don't mind feeling the cool water. If you are somebody who has hemorrhoids, the cold water can actually better for your booty skin because the cold water helps get rid of the inflammation of the hemorrhoids. So this can actually do you a solid. <laughs> do you a solid. Other down part parts that I like that I mentioned in the installation video, I don't like the mount where it goes, hold on, I don't like the mount here. I feel like you can knock it off pretty easily. I don't like that. I would rather the mount was better. If I wanted to keep this permanently in my bathroom, like I said, I can actually install this mount on the wall right next to the toilet so that it would be easier to reach. Plus, if I did install the mount on the wall, I'm not going to have the tube or the hose hanging on the floor like it is on the mount. So let me just show you to remind you what that looks like. With how it's mounted here on the toilet tank, um, the line is on the floor, which I do not like, but if I had this on the wall right next to my toilet here, then it would, not be on the floor anymore, which would be good. With the mount, because it is easy to knock off if you have small children or pets, that may get very annoying to you. So just be careful. I also don't like that the manufacturer recommends turning off the T-valve to turn off water to the handheld bidet with every use. So far, like I said, I haven't had any issues with leaking, water leaking, but um, that should be something you should watch out for in your own home. No mold, mold is so bad. <laughs> and something else that I did like about this um, handheld bidet is the different angles that you can hold it at. So. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you how this works on camera, but I will show you how I position it for me. Pretend here is the toilet that I'm sitting on. Um, pretend that um, I'm actually sitting on the toilet with my pants down. What you do is you hold, here's the top where the water comes out. So you would hold it in between your legs like that and spray your bottom. And for me, actually, I only need to go down a little bit into the bowl to spray to reach my um, anus. That's not too bad. You can also put this around your back like, like that to spray your bottom from behind. So you can do that. 
If you have any mobility issues in your shoulder or your back, that may be harder for you and it may be easier for you to spray your bottom with this coming in between your legs from the front. So overall, if I were to have a rating system, let me say, <laughs> what if I say rating system, um, 10 toilets, 10, 10 being uh, the greatest and I love it the most and one being awful and I hate it. So I would give this rating an eight. It is very convenient. It does help clean you thoroughly. I do like the nozzle is probably my most favorite part of this. Um, but I would have to say there are some things that they could work on to improve it a little bit better with the mount. Thanks, Maria. I'll take it from here. So I wanna know, what do you think about this handheld bidet? Please tell me what you think in the comment section below. If you'd like to learn more about this product, check out the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Make sure to hit the notifications button so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, have a wonderful rest of your day.